Hey guys, this is my homemade stove that I thought I'd show you. I'm going to burn the galvanizing off this ductwork for the chimney. It's 4 inch ductwork, 30 inch pieces. I've got a fire extinguisher here, a pair of leather gloves just in case. Let's light this and see how it works. Alright, it's not quite heated up yet, but I wanted to check something out and share it with you while I did. Open the top door I made here, and I want to see how the baffle that I made is interacting inside here. And how it works. Let's take a look at that. There we go. So you can see what the baffle does here. It makes the flame travel around it before going up the chimney. And I think what it does ultimately is add more heat to the top of the stove to maximize as a cooking surface. So the duct has started to turn color, you can see it there, and what's happening is that the galvanizing is burning off. And you want to do this outside, guys. You do not want to inhale this in a yurt or a tent or something like that. You do not want to breathe those fumes. So you can see, that's what I'm looking to burn off here. There we go. Starting to travel up the pipe now. Well, it's rocking now, guys. Didn't take long to get a boil on here. And that's in the exposed wind. It's about minus 10 right now. Didn't take long to burn off the galvanize either. It's not all gone. I can still smell it right now actually burning off. Since I really loaded it up last, last time I put some wood in. Can you hear that sound? Just so you know, this is a lot hotter than I'll burn it when I'm camping. In fact, way hotter. I'm doing this to burn off the galvanize, like I've said a number of times already. Whoa. How's our baffle doing in there? Baffle's falling down. I'm gonna have to fix that. Too much heat. That's a lot of BTUs right there. Something else I put in here. Steel grate at the bottom for air to be able to flow through it so that the wood didn't actually rest right on the bottom of the barrel. It's elevated somewhat by a grate. Still a boiler. Whoa, that's so let just let's contain this a little. Need to fix that too. There it is, the homemade wood stove. Tell me what you think, guys. I've been using it for over a year now and I've been making modifications to it, but I think this is probably as tweaked out as I'm gonna get it. Failed to mention there's some vent holes here. I may put some more on the back as well. Got two vent holes like that. Who doesn't love a wood stove? See you guys.